Hello everyone and welcome back to another daily tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install 3, 2, 1 Hello everyone and welcome back to another daily tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install flashback mod for Minecraft 1.21.5 as well as Minecraft 1.21.6 which is a Minecraft update that is going to drop in just over a week at this point so just click on mods and click on browse mods and in the search bar here you want to type in flashback and here you have flashback by mulberry so just click on it and click add there we go this is basically just replay mod but better in a different interface that makes uh, everything a bit more streamlined for creators i'm also going to be showcasing exactly how to use flashback so watch the whole video so now you want to go over to play and launch the game. So, I'm going to record a little clip of me just like running around and stuff. Just like that. And I'm gonna click on finish recording. Now, if we click escape, we can click on save and quit the title. And go over to flashback. Click on this and edit. You can see you can combine them with other replays. Next, if you click on it and click this arrow, you can open the replay. This is where all of the fun stuff will be happening. So, as you can see right here, we have a, basically an editing interface for the game. So, all we need to do is add elements, and we can change the keyframes for these elements. So, for example, if I wanted track entity, I could add the track entity. And you can just uh, get the UUID of the player right here. Copy UUID. So just click on that. And add. So all you need to do is pick two points for the track entity. All you need to do. So right here, as you can see, I picked two points. And until that point, we are going to be tracking the entity. And then it's going to separate. So that's a thing we can do. We can also go over here and add another element. And do something like FOV. We can start at 100, and as we're tracking the entity, we can have the FOV slowly going down to 1. Which can look pr uh, pretty cool, but this, in this case, it doesn't really work because 1 is just a bit too low. I'll go 35, something like that. So, let's play. There we go. And boom, 36 FOV. Now we can add another keyframe, like here. There we go. Let me add element, camera. This is where I have my first camera keyframe. I'm just going to interact with all of the other keyframes before it. There we go. But as you can see right here, if you had the first keyframe be separated like this, what's going to happen is you're just going to cut. Instead of moving, you're going to cut, especially with these ones, because they don't interact. So, it's pretty cool. As you can see, we're tracking the entity, we separate from the entity, then we cut over to another entity, and I can make like this little tracking camera orbit effect right up here. So, yeah, we can, we can do a lot. So yeah, that is basically how to use the timeline. And what we can also do is here we can change what is rendered. For example, if I turn off render entities, none of the husks or villagers will be rendered. If I turn off render players, I won't be rendered. If I turn off render name tags, the name tag disappears. Next, file, export video. This is the most important part of, of this thing. So here, as you can see, we can change the uh, resolution, the frame rate. We can add SSA, we can uh, turn off GUI. And here we have incompatible mods. You have some mods installed which are known to cause crashes, rendering issues. If you encounter problems exporting, please try removing the following mods. Bad fur. So, you shouldn't have to worry about this. This can cause some crashes, but it's relatively stable. So I'm just going to click on start export. And I'm going to send it directly to dot videos and add it at the end of this video. So as you can see, we can watch it being rendered on our screen in real time as all the villagers and stuff start moving 
So yeah, it's pretty cool. We can see the menace cape. Now we've hit the point where we separate. Now we watch everything from the top. And yeah, there we go. We have finished our export. So yeah, I'm going to add the video of the export now. And yeah, see you in the next one.